The octopus hadn't had water for three years. The man took down a painting from the wall, splashed it onto the octopus, and miraculously water flowed out from the painting. The dehydrated octopus instantly regained energy, and in gratitude it embraced the man, giving him a massage. A dinosaur skeleton sat on the ground, shaking its head and wagging its tail. The man patted the dinosaur's forehead, then pulled a rope, and as usual, he was flung away. Every nightfall, all the exhibits in this museum would come alive thanks to the magical power of the gold medal. On this day, Chris was surrounded by a group of soldiers. The pharaoh wanted to seize the resurrection gold medal, open the gate to hell, and summon a dark army. Chris approached a wooden box, pretending to take out the gold medal, but instead he released an ally. He opened the lock, and an octopus burst out using its strong tentacles to defeat the soldiers. Chris managed to retrieve the gold medal and tried to escape, but the octopus blocked his way. With a casual move, Chris was sent flying, crashing into a wooden box, revealing a hippopotamus. At this moment, Chris was intercepted by a blonde girl who claimed to be the first female aviator to fly across the Atlantic, Amelia. She boasted about her courage, fearless even in the face of missiles. Chris escaped again. Just as they reached a corner, they were attacked by a snowball. Chris discovered that the tiny people from the painting had come to life, engaging in a snowball fight. Suddenly, they all fled as if something terrifying was approaching. Chris reassured them that he wouldn't harm them, unaware that the pharaoh's army was chasing them. The soldiers threw spears, but luckily, Chris and Amelia hid inside a black and white painting. People in the painting were dancing in the streets, celebrating the victory of World War II. However, the pharaoh's soldiers also entered the painting. Chris grabbed someone else's dance partner, pretending to be a couple, successfully avoiding trouble. They escaped another black and white painting, and Chris reversed the frame, trapping the soldiers. However, the pharaoh had another idea. He trapped a cowboy in an hourglass, and if the password wasn't found within an hour, the cowboy would be buried in sand. The pharaoh handed the golden board to Chris, giving him an hour to unlock the code. Chris suddenly remembered passing by a puppet exhibition during the day and seeing an Einstein puppet. If he couldn't crack the code, he had no other choice. The exhibition hall was already chaotic. Exhibits were planning to launch a missile, but Chris stopped them just in time. Approaching the front desk, Chris saw eight shaking and nodding Einstein figures. With their help, he discovered that the password to activate the gold medal was Pi. To save time, Amelia flew a plane, taking Chris into the museum. Using the magic gold medal and the password, they rescued the cowboy from the hourglass. But to prevent them from reporting, the pharaoh didn't let them leave. As he entered the password, the magic gold medal began to shine, opening the gate to the underworld. Warriors with bird heads emerged, fierce and loyal only to the pharaoh. Just as the pharaoh was about to eliminate Chris, a giant statue broke through the door. The pharaoh ordered the bird-headed warriors to throw spears, but the spears couldn't harm the statue. With a casual sweep, the statue sent the bird-headed warriors flying. It then crouched down, flicking them away. The remaining bird-headed warriors fled back to hell, leaving the pharaoh embarrassed. The statue left as well. At this moment, Anna brought reinforcements, and both sides engaged in a chaotic battle. The tiny people attacked the enemy's shoes, monkeys continuously slapped faces, making it impossible for the soldiers to get up. The most formidable was the thinker, a single punch knocking down five people, and the giant octopus fought ten opponents at once. In the midst of chaos, Chris tried to take away the gold medal but was spotted by three villains. Using a strategy to sow discord, Chris caused the villains to fight among themselves, ultimately turning against each other. However, this trick didn't work on the pharaoh. In no time, they were entangled in a fierce brawl. Chris needed only a few moves to completely subdue the pharaoh. Anna quickly set up the gold medal, reopened the gate to hell, and with a push, Chris threw the pharaoh inside. In the end, he turned into ashes, sealed in hell. After dawn, all the exhibits returned to their original state. The museum started operating at night, with exhibits introducing their own histories to visitors. 